last time we talked about using these four operations here to find new functions but I didn't tell you about the domains of these new functions so we've got some rules here for the domains and I know those symbols might be a bit complicated so we'll go over here and I'll explain what this means this here means the unit the intersection sorry of a and b so if a and b are two sets the intersection is the numbers that are in both sets a and b and this symbol here that looks a bit like an a just means x is an element of this set so those are what the different symbols mean so now we're going to use these and work out some examples so here's the rules and this is what we want to do for the first few examples we want to find the domains for f plus g f minus g f times g and f over g so for the first one the domains for the, for f plus minus and f times g are all the same according to the rules here so we'll look at the domain for each one f of x and g of x and then find the intersection so this one's going to be infinity to minus infinity sorry that should be minus infinity to plus I'll sort it out you don't usually put plus but saves us open things out and then the intersection of those is that set so that's the domain for the first three and the second one here this one here f over g that's the domain as well because we don't want x squared plus 1 to be 0 but the solution for that to be 0 is i and complex numbers aren't included so we're fine with that and for these ones as well this one's minus to plus infinity and so is this one and we know that the intersection is minus infinity to infinity for the first three because those first three are the same and for f over g of x we don't want this to be zero but the only time it's zero is if x is a complex number so that's not included so this is the domain for all of them again now on this one we don't want the square root of x to be negative so the domain for that one is 0 to infinity and this one's minus infinity to infinity and the intersection of them is 0 to infinity so that's the domain for these first three and this last one here if this was a minus 1 then minus 1 cubed is minus 1 and a minus 1 the plus 1 makes 0 and this is on the bottom so we don't want this to be 0 so we want all the values from 0 to infinity that g of x must not equal minus 1 but not minus 1 sorry that should just be minus 1 not equal to minus 1 so x cannot be minus 1 I'll put x up there 
so that X should be in there. Right, last one here. Last one's a composition of functions. So, want all X values in F of X and in G of X. So, all allowed values for both of these is minus infinity to infinity. Those are the domains of the functions. So, these values, x value, all these x values are allowed in both of these functions. So, that's going to be our domain. And that's for f of g and g of f. Okay, so that is how we find the domains of functions, which is use these rules here, and it's basically just understanding what this this notation here means and finding the intersection of the domains of the two functions you're working with. So yeah, that's how you find the domains of functions and we'll continue the work of functions next time.